42-year-old male pedestrian hit by a lorry, severe chest and abdo trauma. I don't believe in fate any more than I believe you can choose the moment you die. But in a strange way, I believe I'm in a position of privilege. I've come face to face with my own mortality. I've been reminded just how precious and how fragile our lives really are. No, there's nothing there. I say we call him. Everyone agree? Yeah. Yeah. It's time of death. Nine I've nine. had to make a choice. And I choose hope. So, mirror signal manoeuvre, yeah? I know! You've imprinted it on my brain. I've been hearing it in my sleep. I just want you to be ready. You're more nervous than I am. Uh, I know how much this means to you. <laughs> Rubbish. I just bet it'll be in my chauffeur. You know, I don't mind. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, Helen. It's all right. Steady. Cara. Dr. Winters. All set for Monday? Yes. Yeah, I've been catching up on all the latest neurosurgical techniques in Brownings. Oh, no, I wouldn't bother with Brownings. No? The last edition was 2007. Oh, well, maybe you could suggest some other reading for me. I'll give it some thought. Actually, I have to confess that I'm not just here to see you. Um, I have an ulterior motive. Oh? I'm in search of your other half. My other half? Your other half, Dr. Fulton. Ah, oh, Dr. Fuldren, um, actually things haven't quite worked out between us. Really? Yes, at this stage I'm just focusing on my career. Right. Sorry, I don't understand. Um, is there some kind of problem? Well, I have to be honest, Dr. Winters, the fact that you seem to be in a stable relationship help convince the board that you'd put all your emotional problems behind you. Why did it have to happen today? I know, Hen. I'm not going to wait another 18 months. I can't. If there was anything I could do, Anything, you know I would. No, Hen, no way. Have you any idea how illegal that is? No one would find out. Uh, there's a photo on your licence. No one looks like their own passport photo. <sighs> oh, um, by the way, I've had a biopsy. Francis reckons the results will be through by this afternoon, so... All being well, I should start chemo in the morning. It's not a cure, you know that. It's a stay of execution. It'll reduce the tremors and get rid of this wretched headache. I'll get my life back. I will have to have a couple of months off, though, so I need to make sure I've left the place in safe hands. Uh, sorry, Nick, I, I need to take this. Uh, yeah, Adam Truman. Her name was Claire. She was from Northumberland. So it's all her. I'm sorry, my darling. I'm just not getting anything. Thank you for trying. Hang on. Just a sec, love. Am I getting something to do with music? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think she used to play the piano. Oh, yes. I'm getting a Northumberland accent now. It's quite a soft voice, would that be right? She's right here with me now, my darling. Is there anything you want to say to her? Mom? What am I doing? Miss Gorman? 
I'm sorry to keep you waiting. The last test over ran. If I could just see your provisional license. That's super. All right, Mr. Jordan? Uh, yes, it's a big man. Just got a date, that's all. Mr. Jordan? Yeah. Your head is. I hit my head on the bathroom cabinet this morning. Nothing to worry about. She wants you to know that she loves you very much. And she's in a very happy place where she'll be waiting for you one day. All right, my darling. OK, Claire, my love. You can leave now. You poor boy. I've upset you. No. You've told me everything I wanted to hear. Thank you so much. It was a uh, 20, wasn't it? Let's call it 10. Now do you take care of yourself now. Mr. Garcia. Take you to hold Mrs. Hughes. Nasty cuts to your face. And my and my name's head. Dixie. That glass. With your friend I think there. You this arm. That's my pal Polly. All right, love. You're going to need a collar and a board, please, Paul. Okay. She's got a cut on her head as well. Do you know her name, love? Henrietta. Henrietta Goldman. Her license is in the car with my clipboard. You a driving instructor? Examiner. Oh. Oh, you poor thing. It took me six goes. At least now I've got a siren and flashing lights to warn people I'm coming. You're not a relative princess, no? No, no, I'm, I'm just a friend. OK. I'm just going to give you something for the pain, mate, and then we'll get you to the hospital as soon as we can, OK? Do you want me to call anyone for you? Your dad? No, no, please don't call him. Henrietta Gorman, 24, driver involved in an RTC. She's collided with a pedestrian. She's got a depressed fracture to her skull. Dr. Dr. Winters, head injury. In You're heading for neurosurgery. You take this one. Thank you, Dixie. Okay. You've got four, please. Right. 